Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. I am your host Guillermo. It is September 21st. Hope you're all having a great day today. As you can see, it is a green day for me, up $550 today, or about 0.5%. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Now in today's video, I wanna talk about Weeble. More specifically, I wanna talk about how to make money using the call credit spread on Weeble, also known as the bear call spread. This is very similar to selling calls. So before I get into that, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe, guys. It really helps out the channel. If you haven't signed up to Weeble yet, go ahead and use the link in the description below to do so. You'll get two free stocks valued up to $900 when you sign up. Again, it's important to have multiple brokers. As for example, one might have uh, one might be having technical difficulties at some point. That's okay. You can switch to one of your other brokers, or you can also just have more day trades available if you really enjoy day trading, especially if your account is under twenty-five thousand and you don't have unlimited day trades. Now, we will also offer extended hours trading, so you can trade uh, pre-market between the hours of four a.m. and nine thirty a.m. Eastern time, and after hours between four p.m. and eight p.m. Eastern time. So you can kind of get into the stock into any stock you want before the rest of the crowd. So again, go ahead, check out the dis, uh, link in the description below to sign up to Weeble. Now, something very important here to note, guys, uh, for these more advanced option trading strategies, you do need to have level three options. So, for example, if we take a look here. Uh, we can see uh, what strategies are allowed at the different levels. So, for example, for credit spreads, debit spreads, butterflies, condors, you do need to have level three options trading. Now, in order to have level three, you do need to have a margin account. And to switch from a cash account to a margin account does take a few weeks. So, go ahead and do that if you haven't already. Uh, it is definitely worth it once you have. Uh, you know, access to all of these strategies, you can start using them, making some great income by uh, using these strategies. So anyways, just note that there. Also, I do recommend using the Weeble desktop app. That is what I am using. You just go to Weeble.com. You go to this download tab here and you can download their Weeble desktop app. So let's go ahead and go to that app here and let's get into uh, this call credit spread tutorial. So here we are on the de on the desktop app for Weeble. So right now we're on the watch list tab. Let's go over to the stocks tab here. Uh, so here we are on the stocks tab. We're currently on Tesla here. Again, this allows you to do all different types of you know technical analysis, things like that. Another great reason to have this uh, app. But anyways, uh, let's go over to the top here. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and find what stock we want to use the call credit spread on. Now for today's video, I'm going to be using SPY. SPY is a very popular one when it comes to spreads, mainly because it has three different expiration dates per week, something that makes it very unique. Uh, but basically you can do more trades on it weekly, collect more premium on it weekly. So let's go over to SPY here. And here we are on SPY. This is an ETF, of course. We can see the price, we can see the chart. What we want to do now is we want to go to the top here and we want to go to the options for SPY. So let's click on options here. So here are the options for SPY. Now, first thing we need to do here is choose an expiration date that we want for this uh, call credit spread. And remember, the way you choose an expiration date on Weeble is basically they all are their own kind of expandable, collapsible section. So if you click on this down arrow here, it'll collapse this one. As you can see, I had another one expanded so I can collapse this one. And then you can see all the different expiration dates for uh, SPY right now. It does kind of get overwhelming because there are a lot of them. Uh, but the nice thing is that if you look under strike here, it does tell you how many days there are left until that expiration. So for example, uh, for June 16, 2023, if I were to choose this expiration, I have 633 days until it expires. So it does the math for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose September 22nd. That is tomorrow, one day out uh, until it expires. So I'll just use this as my expiration date for this demo here. Now, a couple of other things we need to do here. Since we are talking about the call credit spread, right? we will go ahead to the top here and just click on calls. We don't have to focus on puts, we're just focusing on calls. So we're gonna go calls because this is the call credit spread. 
Uh, the other thing that I really like to do here, so I like to uh, sort this by descending strike price uh, so that, uh, or, or, or you know, you can, you can sort of whatever you want, but I like to have the higher strikes on top and then the lower strikes on the bottom. It's kind of what I'm used to more. Uh, the other thing you need to do here, of course, is that there are going to be a lot of them here. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, reduce the amount that we're seeing here. But the first thing we need to do is go, go up here to the single section here and we want to choose whatever strategy we're going to choose. Again, we're using the call credit spread. So this is actually going to fall under vertical. So the call credit spread is a vertical spread. All a vertical spread means is that you're buying and selling multiple options expiring on the same day with different strike prices. That's all a vertical spread means. Uh, so we'll go to vertical here. Uh, and again, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of different options here. So many, again, it gets very overwhelming. So what I like to do is I like to go up here to the all for strikes and let's just, you know, reduce it to like 20. Right. You don't need to see that many. You probably just need 20 unless you're going very far out. Uh, but we're not doing that. So here it is a lot easier to read and see this now. Uh, so now that we've set this up here, uh, we're ready to go. So the very first thing we need to do here, of course, is just kind of quickly talk about how a call credit spread works. Again, it's also known as the bear call spread. As the name suggests, it is a bearish strategy. So you want to either be neutral to bearish on a stock with this strategy. Uh, so we want the stock to trade sideways or you go down a little bit. Uh, and so it's very similar to selling a call, except that you also buy a call, right? So instead of uh, selling a call, having to have a hundred shares and sell a call on it, you just sell a call, but you also buy a call. And by buying that call, that call acts as your 100 shares. And so the very first thing you want to do here when you're entering a call credit spread is you want to determine what price you believe this stock will be under by the expiration date. So again, this expires tomorrow. What price do I think SPY will be under by tomorrow uh, at the end of the market day? And let's say that I think it's going to be under $436, right? Right now it's at $434. So it being under $436 isn't, you know, too unrealistic. Uh, so I would sell my call there. And then I want to buy a call right above that, okay? How much higher than that? It really depends. Uh, you can kind of mess around with that and see how that changes things like, you know, probability of being profitable, uh, you know, max risk, max reward, things like that. So ultimately, that's how you're going to set it up. And it should you should be entering this for a credit. OK, now uh, let's go ahead and actually do uh, an example here. So what we're going to do is, again, let's say I think SPY will be under 436 tomorrow. I'm going to sell my call at 436. And then let's say I want to buy a call at the 438 strike. Now, as you can see, I don't see that combination here. Reason being uh, that the width right now is on auto. So what I need to do, since those are going to be two strikes away, I want to go to width and I want to click on auto. And then, as you can see, now I see what I want here, 436, 438. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that here. And so it'll take us to this, right? And again, you need to be very careful. If you click on the wrong thing here, it'll say buy. You don't want to buy this. You want to sell this. And you should know that because if you're buying it, it's going to say debit. Again, this should be entered for a credit. So make sure you're doing sell here. And then you can take a look at the individual legs. So we're selling our call at the 436 strike. And then we're buying a call above it at the 438 strike. That's exactly how a call credit spread works. So this looks good now. You can still change the strategy, uh, the strike, the expiration date. If you want, we're not going to do that. Quantity, we probably don't want 10. We probably just want one here. So I'll do one again. Uh, you can change your order type to market. I uh, don't recommend that. I would always use limit. You have more control over what's the least amount you're willing to receive to enter this credit spread here. Uh, and then, of course, uh, what you can do after you've seen this is you can go to this arrow here and you can have a little bit more information here. So again, this is telling me this is going to be a credit, which it should be because this is a credit spread, $72. I have two day trades left, as you can see here. 
my max loss is 128, my max profit is 72. Remember, with spreads, you can quickly figure out your max loss. You take the strikes, you subtract them, so 438 minus 436 is 2, multiply that by 100, that's 200, minus the credit you're receiving, 72, 200 minus 72 is 128. That's going to be my max loss. So it's a very quick way to calculate your max loss if you don't have access to this. Uh, then you can go over to your graph here and again just quickly visually see that this looks correct and what you're expecting it to look like, right? So if, if, the, if the price of SPY falls, as you can see, we'll make money. However, if it goes up, we lose money. And that makes sense because this is a bearish strategy. We do want the stock to either trade sideways or just drop down uh, for us. And then again, you can change different things here on uh, as well. So again, you would go ahead, I'll unlock this here quickly. Uh, and I would do that. And then I would say place order. And then it will show me some more information here. You can read through it and then, you know, make sure that everything looks fine. Now, before you actually sell this and before you actually enter this trade again, I highly recommend to use the option strat to visually see what this is going to look like, what your profit or loss will be depending on the date, depending on what the price of SPY is. So let's just go over to that quickly and let's take a look. So I'm going to go back here to the browser and I'm going to go over to a new tab for option strat. I'm going to go to build here. And again, this is called the bear call spread. Uh, so right here, bear call spread, I'll click on it. And then again, I'll go to SPY here. So SPY, again, we chose the expiration date of September 22nd. We started by selling a call at 436 because we believe SPY will be under 436 by tomorrow. And then we bought a call above it at the 438 strike, which is right there. And so as you can see, this recognizes it as a bear call spread. It's going to be a credit. We receive $71 max loss of $129, max profit is going to be the credit you receive, $71, tells me what my break even point is, and then um, what we can do here, of course, is take a look at the chart, right, so here's what the chart would look like, uh, maybe let's go uh, not so far apart here, uh, so this is what it looks like, and so right now, SPY's at 433.97, which as you can see, if it trades sideways, we will make money, if it drops down, we will make money. So again, this is a neutral to bearish strategy. You can still make money if the stock trades sideways uh, or if it drops down. So this is what it looks like here. And again, very important, always take a look at what changes in implied volatility due to the strategy. So if implied volatility goes up, what happens? If implied volatility drops, what happens, right? So anyways, this is how you would enter a call credit spread on Weeble and how you would make money with the call credit spread. If you have any questions about anything I just talked about, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.